So welcome to day 20 of the HackerRank 30 days coding challenge and today we are going to be talking about sorting. So we are going to be using a version of bubble sort algorithm. Now this is the algorithm here, actually this is a code, but the easiest way to understand it is simply to show you in the whiteboard how it actually works. So what we have, assuming we have four items, let's say four, zero, three, one, uh, five. And we have to sort this in, for instance, we will have to sort it in ascending order. What we want to achieve is what is zero, one, three, four, five, okay? Now what we're gonna do is to, I trade from here to here. So if we compare four and zero, a zero less than four, uh, we see that yes, so that is that is not okay. So we have to swap. So we have to swap this, and we move next. We have to check four and three, and in that case is okay. We have to check three and one. We have to do a swap. So basically, we have to perform a swap here. We have to perform uh, a swap here, but here we don't need a swap. So in this case, we have two swaps. So once you do the first pass, what we are going to have is zero, four, three, one, five, okay? So at this point, we do a second pass. In this case, we have swapped, we have swapped it once, and we now do a second pass and perform a swap as well. So the easiest way to understand it is to simply write the pseudo code. So let's try to write the pseudo code. Now, as we are swapping, we are going to be keeping track of the number of swaps that was performed. So we are going to say for i in range going from zero to the length of the array. So let's call it length a, okay? Now we want to keep track of the total swaps, the total swaps that has taken place. However, for each of the paths, like in this case, if we do a pass here, we swap four zero, we swap three one, we have two. But that doesn't mean that the array is sorted. We simply performed, did one pass, two swaps. We have to do another pass and in this case, we have a cumulative uh, total swap, but we have a swap for each iteration or for each pass. So for each pass, after each pass, we are going to have, we're going to reset the swaps. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to call this non-swaps, non-swaps equal to zero. Now, why do we reset it? Because if at the end of the day, if at the end of a pass, this non swaps here remains zero, that means that the array is sorted. So you have to terminate. So this non swap, non swaps variable here is used to determine when to actually terminate your program or the, the, the loop. But this one is used to keep track of the total number of swaps that has been taken place, that have been performed to get this list completely sorted. So now we are going to now do another for loop for this time J, sorry, I, I, was, I always think I'm writing in Java. So this is Python. So the, the pseudo code should kind of look like Python. So for J in range, zero to line A. So we are going to do another pass and check if there is a swap that was performed and repeatedly until the swaps is zero, okay? If you understand what I mean. So now we are going to say here, if A I, now if A I, which is this one, we are going to compare this one AI and AI plus one. So if AI for any reason is greater than AI plus one, 
is greater than a i plus one we are going to do a swap all right so i'm going to do a swap okay we swap the two a i and a i plus one now we are not going to write any helper function called swap we are going to simply use the python syntax to just swap it in place all right so this is what we have and we are going to increase the norm swaps here so i'm going to say norm swaps plus plus now this is just a pseudo code plus plus is not python syntax and we're also going to, going to increase the total swaps so at the end of this loop at the end of this pass here at the end of this pass we are going to say if there's a swap performed so if non swaps if non swaps equal to zero then break and we are breaking this loop because this is where we have it so at this point the program terminates and we are now going to print out the outputs we require now one thing i want to tell you is that if you if you look at this place you see that we have line a but we have line a here and we have index i plus one so once you get to line a and you do i plus one it's going to give you an array out of bound exception so it's better to have minus one here and here so just keep that in mind as we write the code we are going to be using that so what i'm going to do now I'm going to come back and let's write the code. <laughs> let's do the fun part now and write the code. So I'm using Python. I'm a Python guy. So let's see. So I'm going to first initialize the total swaps, total swaps to zero. And I'm going to start a loop. I'm going to start a loop for i in range from zero to line a minus one because we are going to be doing index plus one when we are doing a swap so we don't have a ray out of bound exception and here we are going to uh reset the norm swaps so i'm going to say norm swaps because for each i is a pass through the array so norm swaps is equal to zero we're going to reset it and we are going to start another loop for j in range of course we are we are looping through the whole array again to see if we will perform a swap so from zero to line a minus one minus one and okay so what happens here we are going to check if a j for any reason is greater than a j plus one a j plus one sorry so all right so once it's greater than aj plus one we perform a swap so in python you simply say a j yeah, i'm swapping aj and aj plus one simply set it to the reverse so i'm gonna say aj plus one and sorry a j so this is how you perform a swap in python you don't need to write any helper function to perform a swap now at this point we did a swap and we are going to increase the non swaps is equal to one we increase it by one and we are going to increase the total swaps as well equal to one this is fine all right so this is fine and at the end of this loop we are going to check if a swap was performed so i'm going to check if non swaps is equal to zero if non swaps is equal to zero i'm going to simply break and since this if statement is here i'm going to break on this loop on this very loop right here and terminates the program effectively so that's what happens here but if non swaps is not equal to zero it's going to go to the next pass it's going to or increment i by one and do a second pass okay so let's now print out the outputs they require also print out so i'm going to say print 
array array is sorted in swaps full stop and the number of swaps is total swaps okay so now I'm gonna print out the first element in the first array I'm gonna say first element I think is it lowercase or uppercase I can't remember oh yeah uppercase or come out uh, I think Pascal case first element is what is going to be this so I'm gonna have this inside here so it's gonna be uh, the format and specify the first element is a0 right I think that should be very clear and the last element should be the last elements should be uh, should be let me just put this right here the format and it's going to be a a of sorry it's going to be like this a line a uh, a line a minus one i think that should be it yeah a line a minus one all right so let me just do a bit of double check so have full stop here because you need to cross your eyes and dot, cross your teeth and dot your eyes so have this full stop here if you don't do it if you don't put it then it's going to give you um a wrong answer output so let's see how we done so i'm going to just click on the wrong button and yeah so have a typo right here and first class good so let's run the code and let's see okay so we have the first two test cases passed so i'm going to go to submit this code and let's see if everything works fine submit all right so you can see that everything worked fine the three test cases passed successfully and we have solved this day 20 challenge about sorting if you've come this far i'd like to give you a thumbs up thank you for being there thank you for putting the efforts to learn programming and I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and also let me know if you have any challenges by leaving me a comment in the comment box below because this kind of motivates me to do more. I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.